On to our continuing coverage of the death of a Henrico man in police custody. The seven sheriff's deputies charged with second degree murder and the death of 28 year old Ivor Otieno had their first court appearance today. That's right. New at six tonight video from inside of today's hearing where disturbing details were revealed, including how Otieno died. We have live team coverage tonight. We do want to start with Macy Morris, however, who's live in Dinwiddie with that new video. Macy. Well, Kerr Mikhail, we know two deputies made bond while five others are still in custody tonight. The Dinwiddie Commonwealth attorney charging all of those deputies with second degree murder after she says she saw video of those deputies exhibiting a cruel demonstration of power. Dinwiddie Commonwealth's attorney defending criminal charges she filed against seven Henrico Sheriff's deputies. During their arraignments Wednesday, Ann Baskerville revealed she obtained surveillance video from the Henrico Jail and Central State Hospital. Video she calls extremely clear and alarming. In the footage, Baskerville says you can see deputies throw a shirtless 28 year old Irvo Otiano to the ground during the intake process at the hospital. She says the video shows him face down on the ground in handcuffs, and at one point, an unidentified deputy has their knee on his body. Baskerville says deputies smothered. Otiano for 12 minutes, causing him to suffocate to death. We died of asphyxia due to being smothered to death thanks to having at least seven people, including the defendant, on top of him and holding him down. She adds video also shows deputies pepper spraying and punching Otiano at the Henrico jail before he's transported. An attorney for one of the deputies says he has not seen any of those videos. Our client has been there for 24 years. And uh, I know that the sheriff is anxiously watching this to see what's happening, but um, her position, I believe, is still that they were doing their job and they're doing it the best they could. None of them are known as bullies. Carrie Bowen also claims Otiana was known for having a history of mental health related issues. Enrico police say Otiana was combative with deputies during the intake process. Some more deputies were called to the scene and the man had to be restrained. Bowen also believes the prosecutors rushed to action feels premature. The Commonwealth attorney has taken a very aggressive position here and it's pretty unusual to go about things the way it's been done. NBC 12 legal analyst says these charges brought on by Baskerville this early are unusual. Prosecutors don't charge law enforcement officers with serious crimes and especially murder lightly uh, and they shouldn't you know they, they prosecutors typically will take a very deliberate and, and careful approach uh, to making these charging decisions and most often they will want to involve a grand jury. Now we're still working to get that video or to at least see it. We did request it from state police, a Dinwiddie Commonwealth Attorney's Office, as well as the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services, all of them denying our request, saying this is still an active criminal investigation. Lyman on your side here in Dinwiddie this evening, Macy Moores, NBC 12.